Coach Metcalf from Florida State is with us. I guess this new segment, maybe I can call it Quarantined Coaches uh, during this rough time. First of all, thanks for joining us. You're in your first year at uh, FSU, my alma mater. So I know what it's like down there. I love it. How are you enjoying Tallahassee? Yeah, thank you for having me, Josh. It's, uh, it's been great. I've had the opportunity to come up here quite a bit over my 42 years of, of life. And my dad graduated from here. My youngest sister graduated from here. So I've always had the ability to come up and experience Tallahassee as a fan. Um, but once I got on campus, just, just learning of the family environment and how the coaches, the athletic department, the academic side of things, how everybody works as one. And it truly is a family environment. And we've really enjoyed it. My family um, becoming part of that, that larger family. Um, I think it really is a, a cool college town because you got, you know, you do have that college atmosphere, that college town, but then you're also in the capital of the state. Um, so you have that. And then there's like a lot of rural areas around. You kind of get the best of almost every world up there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's an interesting environment because you do have the capital. Um, you do have some different parts of town. I mean, I live on the north side of town where, you know, I'm, I've, I've got more trees around me now than I ever have where I've ever lived. Um, so you get some, some different pockets that you get to learn new things. And, um, you know, with the college town, with it being the capital, there's always something going on, um, which, right. which brings a lot of joy, obviously, to the young kids that I have, but also to the older kids and adults that live up here. A lot of opportunities. I know I, I, when I was there, I worked actually in the capital for internships. Do a lot of your guys do that and take advantage of that stuff? Yeah, we have guys that, that scatter all over the area doing internships and then um, you know, some former players, a ton of former players that are still up here that, that parlayed those internships into full-time well-paying jobs and successful, being successful people in the community and coming back, watching games, bringing their family around. It's been really neat meeting all the former players that are, are still living local and, and you're able to see them out at the field on the weekends. And so, you know, obviously it's, it's a bigger town than you think. Um, there's a lot more opportunities to stick around and, and have a successful life. And uh, so how's Coach Martin doing? I mean, He's uh, just took over first year, taking over for senior. Uh, how, how's it going for him? You know, it's going well. Um, obviously, right now, tough times going on with us unable to be with our guys, be with our, our family, um, our second family, per se. And, um, but he's doing well. Um, he brought in a lot of new ideas um, to go along with, with the foundation that was built over the last 40-plus years. Um, our guys were starting to figure out the, the different angles that we were trying to attack the game of baseball at. And, really starting to hit stride and it's been a great it's been a great learning experience for me but also I've enjoyed watching the players grow into um, the combination of the foundation and the new school stuff that coach Martin's brought in and um, you mentioned we're not playing right now um, one day I think you know this video will, will stay on YouTube forever right we'll look back at this coronavirus uh, year and, and pandemic and unfortunate time um, all of this with, with sports and, and really, I guess, the whole country unfolded very quickly. Um, you know, and, and really in a matter of 48 hours, you guys were playing, getting ready to play that next series on the weekend to season shut down. Can you kind of take me through, you know, what that 48 hours was like for you guys as a program? Yeah, you know, it, it, it ex expanded a little bit longer than that because obviously we had a, we had a, a very big win on that Tuesday night down in Gainesville. Um, and, and we had to hop the bus, get back go through those emotions, the high that we were, we were on. Um, and the next morning, our guys had to get up, go to class, and turn right about, back around and play Illinois State at home. Now, um, for those that don't know, Illinois State's a good program. They, they were in a super regional last year. They've already beaten Arkansas and Oklahoma this year. Um, so we had a tough task at hand to, to get ready to go again. Um, our guys responded well. We came out. We had a great night at, at the plate defensively on the mound. We played good baseball. Um, at that point, when our game was over, we were informed that the NBA had shut down operations um, indefinitely. Uh, you know, as, as a coaching staff, as an athletic department, as you know, guys that are involved with athletics in general, uh, when you hear something like that, you know something's not right. Um, right. So at that point was probably when we first started um, to, to kind of have that thought of what's going to happen next. Um, the next day, we were supposed to have our practice, our Thursday walkthrough. We had Georgia Tech coming into town. Um, we went from that morning planning on having a walkthrough and having a meeting of what we were going to go over to a meeting with the players at 2 o'clock uh, to hold tight um, to by 4 or 5 o'clock that afternoon, maybe 5 o'clock, um, being told that everything was paused. Um, 
Our administration did a fabulous job keeping us informed as a coaching staff. Coach Martin was in constant contact with the people that were in charge. Um, we continued to get information flowing. Um, and, you know, when we had to walk into that, that clubhouse and, and let our guys know that, um, that the College World Series and all champions, spring sports championships were canceled, um, it was a tough moment, moment. You know, as a group, we've been together since August. Um, but, but it's a tight-knit group. It's a great group of guys. Um, they're good ball players, but they're even better people. And they do a fabulous job in the community, in the classroom. And to see the hurt on their face, to see the, the tears from some of our guys, um, with the unknowns, it, it, was a, it was a roller coaster of, of emotions. Um, again, we, we like to think we were just hitting stride, um, you know, like most people will say. And that's right. It's that time of the year. We're start, everybody's starting to figure out who they are. Um, but more importantly, our club had just got done with our first road trip. We really bonded together. I thought that our guys were always close, but when we got back from, from Raleigh, it was, it, was a different, it was a different mindset. And right. Code in the clubhouse, you know, they, they were, they, they consoled each other. Um, they were together after we all left. Um, but they have to understand, and, and they do, that this is bigger than sports, unfortunately, at this point. And, um, you know, there's health and, and, and wellness that has to be kept in mind. And, so we continue to educate them um, and, and talk through the process. And, and our, our training staff, again, our, our leadership up top, our strength and conditioning, everybody's working on one to make sure these guys are educated and understand the importance of, of what's out there and, and how, we, how we prevent ourselves from, from spreading this coronavirus. So what are the guys doing right now? What do you, you know, I'm, yes. obviously you're in contact with them. What are you guys encouraging sure. them to do? Um, sure. Well, you know, our classes doing... start back up online. Um, there, there's no in-class work going right now. Everything's online. So we're encouraging them to stay on top of that, take this time to really focus on their academics, you know, have a good schedule each day, you know, eat right. Um, they do have workouts, full body workouts without weight rooms that they, they can do that we provided. Um, Jamie Burleson, our, our strength coach, is fabulous with that. Um, you know, he basically sends out a text to each guy and says, what do you have at your house? What do you have available? Okay, this is the workout. And he does a great job with that because we're not encouraging them to go anywhere. Um, yeah. We're encouraging them to, to stay at home, to, you know, this social spacing. And, and I think that's what it's called, right? Social spacing. And, and I've heard a couple things to make right. it politically. Staying away from each other, basically, yeah. is what they should and, call it. You're right, and we're encouraging that, but but you know, um, I, I don't know if it's Rocky Four or Rocky Five when he goes out in the mountains in the snow <laughs> right. and working by himself. You know, I mean, right. look, we we've all us older generation, we've we we've, we've been to into those points where you know we threw a tennis ball against a wall, we took swings off a tee by ourselves in our garage, we played long toss with our dad. There wasn't know? the state of the art gyms to go to. Right, so it's it's uh, you know we're just encouraging them to 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 stay on top of their schoolwork to make sure they're doing what's right for the community they live in, and that's follow the rules that have been set, and, and then continue to get strong, continue to work on their body, work on their craft any way possible. Right, and I think that's a good message for, for even the, you know, the guys that I work with more often, the, the travel, the high school guys, the, you know, not the college players, is there's plenty to be doing right now, right? Even oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you – Push up back in the day, push ups and pull ups and sprints used to be the thing to do. I mean, right. you that by yourself. I mean, you, there's things you can do. Um, there's plenty of video and resources out there to show you things that you can do. Right. Um, the important thing is, is you, you want to continue to better yourself. Everybody's itching to do their regular routine. Um, but I think the bottom line is we have to stay safe and, and, and keep in mind that the health and well being of our, our, our community and our, and our country and the people around us. No doubt. Um, moving forward, right? Uh, there's there's obviously a lot of questions right now. Um, I think there's some people on 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 my end that believe you guys have the answers and you're just not sharing them yet. So, what what do you got for us? Yeah, I mean, you know, when they when they shut the when they shut the um, championship events down, um, you know, it was it was a waterfall effect, and and the next thing obviously that happened where all the conferences shut down the season and their conference championships. At that point, there was a lot of questions. And, and to be quite honest, we still have questions. Um, there's a lot of different tentacles that are coming out of these decisions. Um, you know, eligibility, um, scholarship size, allotments for each school, um, roster sizes, and we don't have the answers. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of people out there that are saying, well, 
everybody's going to stay. Well, we haven't heard that yet. We haven't gotten that in writing. We don't have the answers. It's, if it's just seniors, if it's everybody, if it's nobody. Um, I think the bottom line is, is, is to be patient. Um, again, <clears throat> there is, there's going to be some differences starting next fall, as we all know. But what those are, I can't tell you, and I don't think many people, I don't think anybody can, because there's, there hasn't been any legislation passed on any of it. But right. Um, and what would you say to the young guys out there that are not yet in college, but looking to go to college um, that, that have a lot of anxiety about this situation? You know, do, you have, do you have any advice to maybe calm the nerves there? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, coming into this side of the business, I, I do know one thing. I do know that there's a lot of college coaches out there that, that work their tails off, um, and, and including us here at Florida State. And at some point, we're going to get back to normalcy. And when that normalcy hits, we're going to be allowed to go out and recruit. And we're going to be able to be at the fields that they're playing at. And at that point, we're going to be back to evaluating and, and making decisions. And those players are going to have the opportunity to perform in, in front of the uh, – the, the coaching industry. Um, I, it's, it's a hard situation now because, you know, we're not out on the road. We're not recruiting. We're not allowed to until at least I think it's April 15th and then they'll reassess. But at the same time, there's no games or anything going on anyway. Right. So this is a great time to, to hone some skills, to get stronger, to get more athletic, to get your work in um, and, and become a more physical presence and, and, a, and a better human being in general. And, and work on your weaknesses because at some point we're going to get back to normal. And when we get back to normal, everybody's going to hit the ground running. So you're still going to have your opportunity. Don't, don't panic. No, you're going to have your opportunity. I mean, there's still going to be games played and there's still going to be people out there recruiting. Now, when that is, none of us can answer that, but I wouldn't panic because uh, to be quite frank, the NCAA isn't allowing players on campus for unofficials or officials player. Uh, the NCAA is not letting coaches go out. So, we literally, literally are in a pause right now. You know, you have video, you have, you can send video to the coaches that you're talking to, you know, you can, you can start building a relationship. And then when it's go time, we go, I wouldn't panic um, because there's not, there's no way to fix it. It, 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 it. It's, it's, it's our way of life, unfortunately, right now. And sooner or later, it's going to get back to normal. And when it does, like I said, this, this coaching industry, they're going to hit the ground running. Love it, man. Hey, I appreciate you taking some time and, we're quarantined. I guess this is a good way to use time, right? Just talk some baseball. Absolutely. Nothing like talking baseball. I got to watch the, the Dominican versus US, Dominican Republic against USA yesterday on uh, MLB Network from 2017. So, you know, still. We had that, and then I saw ESPN was replaying WrestleMania 30. Yes, at WrestleMania 30. 30 and uh, if, you, if you go into ESPN 2, at least yesterday, they had the Ocho playing where I got to watch um, <laughs> Did they? dodgeball. Yes, yeah. which is an interesting sport. So, yeah, you find you find ways to you find ways to was make it the dodgeball with the trampolines. No, they were playing dodgeball and they were trying to knock the person juggling pins, hit him or knock a pin out of his hand while he was juggling. <laughs> what? So that might be a, a fun concept. You know, look, this obviously every coach wants to be on the field right now. Absolutely. Um, I have found it, though, very enjoyable to follow social media and see what all of you guys are doing and taking advantage of not having a season, right? So much family time and pictures and just seeing personalities of coaches that, that you don't see, you know? What, what are you guys doing? Yeah, so as a family, we're trying to, we're trying to set a routine and get, used, get, a, get into a routine where we're not losing our minds. Um, you know, we wake up in the morning, we're going to eat breakfast, we're going to do some schoolwork. Uh, when we're done with schoolwork, we're going to do some sort of, my daughter is a gymnast, and my son plays some baseball, so we'll do some sort of activities with that. Then we'll do some sort of physical exercise. Uh, when we're done with that, we're usually there on the trampoline. I'm not quite a trampoline guy. I'm uh, <laughs> trying not to break the trampoline on them. Uh, you know, shoot hoops. We got a new dog, so we're, you know, spending time with the new dog. And then, you know, just kind of trying anything to have fun, you know, to yeah. enjoy the moment. Because... The reality is, is it's a tough situation for everybody around the world. We, we understand that. But it's, it's, it's always good to, bring, to, to put a positive light into something that's not so positive. So we're trying to do that. We have fun. We, as a family, you know, I, gotta, I, I come out on the deck and I'm, I'm getting to cook. I mean, prior to this, I was a scout for 11 years. So they're not used to me being home. So I'm sure I'm driving them crazy. Right. Much. But, uh, you know, 
my, teaching my son how to use a grill and how to smoke some some barbecue. Um, you know, just just little things. Right. Uh, that dang cool. that dang road across the street that has the hill that's kicking my butt. I can tell you that. Trying to yeah. run. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I used to ride the bikes around Tally, and I went back for all my kids a couple years ago. I, I couldn't even walk a quarter of campus. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a. I think they got bigger. I think the hills got bigger. Like, well, I'll tell you this: each day that goes by, I feel like they get bigger on me. I got, I'm getting bigger, so they're getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's tectonic plates or something. I think mm -hmm. it's definitely not us. But hey, man, again, I really appreciate it, and uh, especially since it's it's my alma mater. I can't wait Absolutely. to get back out there. I know you and I and uh, Coach Martin, we're gonna meet up at Wake Forest, which I think would have yeah. been. Pretty soon. Yeah, we'll, a couple weeks here, yeah. Yeah, so, but, but like you said, we'll get back out there and we'll do that soon. So thanks again, Coach. Absolutely. Thank you, Josh. Go Knowles, man. Go Knowles, baby. Go All Knowles. right. All right.